Hey guys, this is Pinky, the housewife. I hope you all can hear me a lot better this morning. Cause you know, I, I uh, two days, I think it's two days ago, three, today makes the third day. You know, I had mouth surgery. So I got a lot of flack on my uh, commentary yesterday. Uh, good morning, guys. Y'all know it's morning time cause I'm still in pajamas. These are my pajamas. I'm still in pajamas this morning, and I'm drinking my coffee. It's cold. I can't drink anything hot. It's cold coffee. I just have to let it sit here and just sit cold. And I can only drink on one side of my face. This side, we're not going to worry about this side. So if, I, I know it's hard to understand what I'm saying. I know everybody gave me flack on the video, my commentary yesterday. But I know it's hard to hear me, hard to understand me, it's hard for me to talk, okay? So I'm trying to do this video without any medication, I'm uh, taking any medication for the pain right now, because I just woke up. I'm gonna make a mistake and sleep on that side. <laughs> yep, so I'm gonna do that later. But I hope you all can understand me. It's hard for me to talk, but I hope you can understand me. So lay off with the I, uh, bad, uh, whatever. Just lay off with that, okay? Let's be nice. There's too much mess going on in this world for y'all to be nasty, okay? But anyway, I didn't come to talk about my mouth, okay? It's morning time, shoots, and I have to drink cold coffee. When I say it's cold, it's really cold. And I can only drink on one side of my mouth, so. And I can only drink little sips of it, so. Just be nice, okay? That's why I'm looking like this. I'm tired, my face is all swollen up, so it must be nice. But let me uh, tell you what we're gonna talk about. I realized, kid me not, guys, I did not know today was Friday. I didn't know what the heck today was. You know what made me realize it was Friday? Is when I looked out my, my dining area, my formal dining room, I looked out the window, and I saw that, you know, the big trash bins was out there and I'm thinking, why are they out there? And I had to think back and I said, wait now, I had my dental surgery on this day, Wednesday, so if I had it on Wednesday, what is today? That's how I was under anesthesia and a lot of pain medicine, type coding, so I, I'm just messed up in the head. Can't keep track of the days, the hours. I've been doing a lot of resting and sleeping. Yesterday, I didn't talk at all until I got in front of the um, the camera, so I didn't realize I can't talk that good, so I'm sorry, guys. But anyway, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, Love and Marriage Huntsville comes on, okay? That's Saturday. It's going to be a explosive scene. I hope you can understand me. I'm going to try to talk a little slower so y'all can hear me and understand it. It's going to be an explosive scene. Okay, this is the scene where everybody's been talking about it. Um, but let me put my disclaimers out there first. Everything is alleged, okay? This is my opinion, my opinion only. My video is made for educational and entertainment purposes only. Okay, so I just put that on out there for you. So, just be good. Let's be good, boys and girls, women and men. Let's be good out there, okay? But anyway, it's going to be a, an explosive scene uh, tomorrow. You know, you got the normal stuff that goes on with the pettiness, the uh, people trying to look like somebody, and but we ain't talking about all that. We're talking about, let's, let me just go back and say that Martel blows up at his daughter's birthday party. Okay? Let me just get the scene. It's all over everywhere. Huntsville. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, this is despicable. When I say despicable, I really mean it. For, and to me, it's scary 
is really, really, really scary. Because I don't think people are taking him seriously. You must take this seriously. I'm not saying it just for just to get somebody talking. I'm saying it because this is really serious. He is showing signs. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not a doctor. I'm neither one of those. It's hard for me to talk, so I hope you understand what I'm saying. Guys, take this seriously, okay? I've seen this happen before with someone. So you don't need to take this seriously, okay? Uh, this man really blows up at his girl's birthday parties. Yeah. He's yelling. I got all the stuff here, but... I'm just going to just leave that to the wayside for now. I hope you can understand me, but he really blows up at women. And I think if these people wasn't standing around Melanie at the time, anything can happen. She's a good Georgia character. She knows this man. She's been protecting him, you know, for a long time. It's time to not do that. He's gonna not allow protection from, you know, people like Carlos King, just sheltering him and giving him passes. Everything is alleged, okay, guys? And this is just my opinion, my opinion only. Uh, I hope you all can understand me. It's hard for me to talk because I had surgery on my mouth, but I hope you can just bear with me and understand what I'm saying, okay? Because he goes to the birthday party. It's going to be on this episode to, uh, tomorrow night. This man, to me, I don't think he's well. I'm not a doctor, it's just my opinion, but I don't think he's well. You know, you can see it. He's looking, he's just making wild, crazy decisions. You give him a pass and be nice one moment, then he bites into it on the ankles at like a snake the next moment. You can't turn your back on him. You know, just my opinion. Um, he snaps at one of the women at the, uh, standing outside in that little area. Let me just uh, read to you some of the things. Uh, for instance, uh, it's hard for me to talk, but I'm gonna try. Uh, I tell you know, he comes to the uh, birthday celebration of his daughters, or his daughter, uh, his daughter's birth birthday is what, but, um, and he, you know, this was a private, a private event that uh, Mel threw for, you know, for the party, just for private event. Private event means that event is private. You can't, Come in if you're not invited. You're not part of the guest guest list if you're not invited. You know, they have one week off and one week on and, you know, things like that. So she it's her party. She's doing it and he he never threw a party since they've been divorced for any of his kids, you know. I don't know why. I don't know. It's just, he don't have time. He's not that great into parties. 
or he doesn't have the money. I don't know. But anyway, like uh, he, when he comes in, he tells Mel that uh, he wants to celebrate. I want to celebrate his birthday today, right? And like Mel tells him, uh, you can celebrate it is today, but later on. She was trying to tell me you can still celebrate a birthday today, but later on. But right now, they got a private party, private, uh, let me get that, private party going on. They're celebrating. You can do your thing later with them. But, but you know, he's not having that. And they're outside in this little door area before you get into the skating ring, right? And, but he's, you know, acting like he wants to show up uninvited, like he's part, part helping throw the party. You're not helping throw anything. This is Mel's event. Mel paid for this, not you, okay? And, uh, but she keeps telling him it's still today because he's just blowing up, acting, talking, trying to talk over. She's trying to explain to him, you can celebrate her part of, you can celebrate with her today, but later on. And he's just outside of his head talking to me. But anyway, then she's trying to tell him it's still today. It's still today. If, for instance, if you're having a party today for someone, today is still their birthday, even an hour, two or three hours later, four hours later, still their birthday. Their birthday is still that the whole day. You can do your thing then. And then she, she's trying, are you? And she couldn't even get it out because he's just going off, just going off. But anyway. And like Mel was trying to tell him, I don't want, I don't want, I don't, I'm not talking, I don't get the issue. Like she was trying to tell him, I don't get the issue. He was trying to make it an issue. I don't get the issue. It's still today. It's her birthday. She was trying to, she was so calm. Her voice was so calm. She was an outrage like him, acting up or trying to come at him. She was trying to explain to him how calm, because when a man, when a person is like that up here, if you match their energy, it's going to be bad. So she was trying to be, take the high road. Talk calmly to him, because she already noticed how, you know, he is. She hadn't seen enough of his blow-ups, so she's trying to stay calm and, and even tone with him. It's, and trying to explain to him, trying to get him to see, it's still today. I don't want to have an issue. It's still today. It's her birthday. And I said, you're welcome to get her later on. She was trying to explain to him. You're welcome to come and get her later on. It's still going to be her birthday. Even though it's an odd year. She told me, even though it's an odd year. And I don't have to. Think about that. She didn't have to let him come and get her later on. Because that's her week. That's her time. See what I'm saying? The grace that she's given him. And he still acts up. He still acts up, guys. But she reminded him, even though it's an odd year, and she don't have to, you can still come and get her later on. And she's still trying. She didn't do that finger like I did. She still let Melatone trying to let him, trying to get get it, make it make sense to him, without making him into something else. But anyway, you all have to see it. You see it. If you have, you got to see it, okay? You have them, she tried to explain to him, you had them on every year on their birthday, and you had an invitation to come. But guess where you were? She told him, guess where you were? You was in, a, in, a, in Atlanta. ATL. You was in Atlanta. She was trying to explain it to him. But she keeps trying to tell him this man is not hearing it. 
Mel, and again, Mel said, uh, and you were invited, and you were invited. She brought her, you were invited. You were invited. She didn't do all the hands like me. I'm just talking with my hands. Just, I guess, trying to, uh, I don't know, because it's hard for me to talk, okay? Oh my God, this was very, I think this, I think this was, this was a hard scene for me, guys. Because, because you see too, this was just a hard scene for me. You know what I'm trying to say without saying it, but everything is alleged, in my opinion, my opinion only. But you know, for, for some of you women out there, you know, understand what I'm trying to say. It's hard. Watch this. I've never been through it, but I know someone have. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but like I was saying, this fool, this Martell, is acting up, doing like a 180, which is, you know, it's hard to try to, but thank God, like I said, there was other people out there. Chris Fletcher was out there. Her mom, Ben, was out there. A family member of his was out there that was one. Other people, but he yelling at the women. He yelled at, uh, I think it was a family member of his that was standing there trying to get him under control. And like Mel was trying to tell him, you can have a party whenever you want to. Montel, she was trying to say, Montel, you can have a party whenever you want to. You, it, like she does, she didn't miss a lot of holidays without her kids. But she does, but she waits until she gets them and then she throws their holiday with, with her family. Her family just throws her holiday then, you know? I don't, I don't think he understands that. I don't think he gets it because you know, when a man is in that state, he just wants what he wants when he wants it. When he's that type of person, you don't say no to him. You don't comprom. He don't compromise. You compromise with him. You take what he gives you, okay? And like this is the telltale sign, sign that I know this woman is dealing with it, and she just keeps taking that high road. She said, "Please." Well, don't make me have the popo. I'm not gonna say the word she said, but I'm saying popo. Escort you out of this private event. Please don't make me have the popo. Escort you out of this private event. You know what word, but I'm just saying the popo, okay? But does this fool wanna hear it? No, he didn't wanna hear that. He just walked past every, just walked past everybody, you know, just, like he's the man in charge, like he's the effing throwing this event, like he's the main, main person doing everything, like he's in charge of it and everything. And this what, you know, this will break your heart when Mel said, please don't do that. Please don't do that. She said it twice now, please, as he was trying, he was walking, please don't do that. What she's trying to tell him is, she's asking him, pleading with him, don't do that. Because she, Popo may have to come and get she. But she don't want to do that in front of her babies. Don't let her make the Popo. And then this is meant to, you know, he's yelling at the women and stuff. And just, oh, it just made a big scene. You all will see the scene tomorrow, which is Saturday, okay? And, you know, it's, is the name of this um, episode is Speak Now or Forever. Halt, halt, H-O-L-T, your peace. Speak Now or Forever, halt your peace. This is coming on tomorrow, uh, Saturday, May 6th, guys. Y'all will see that scene. Okay, now I'm gonna go take my medicine now. <laughs> Okay, guys, and don't expect this to get better anytime soon. 
Okay, because it's still floating on, on the side, so. Okay, guys. I did my best, okay? Uh, I did my best. My mouth is jacked up sideways, and just, but that's okay. I did my best, guys. I'm trying to uh, relate the information to you. What's going on in the Huntsville streets? And, and I know I want my uh, coffee. <laughs> but it's cold. You know, I don't like cold coffee, but I got it. Okay. All right, guys. Please hit the like and subscribe button. The button right down here at the bottom. Please hit the like and subscribe button. And leave me a comment. Okay? All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. All right.